whole bunch of fancy words that has no meaning. I think that good actions speak louder than words. And Absolutely. I, I, what should be happening, rather than you guys carrying on like this, running up and down and complaining, why don't you start building and encourage black people to stop destroying and, and let the world see that there's more to them than uh, complaining about what somebody else is or not doing. And that's the I role of the men. That's the yeah. role of the men is to do rather than to just use a lot of fancy words. All you're doing Jesse, is use a lot Jesse, of fancy I don't know words. Who you're talking about right I'm talking now, to Jesse. you. You, Jesse, you said know. a whole bunch of stuff and nobody oh, know what you mean man. about it. You must be talking about those other groups because I said it once before. You must didn't hear me when it where went are here you building? Other. Where are you building homes? people to unify we are telling people to practice group economics where are you we building homes sales in the last three where months are you take, where, where are you doing this you're saying that where months. is it happening we've done more in three months where some people in the civil rights where? movement did in the entire movement where what do you mean where where are you Look building the country statistics have shown that ever since we started the campaign which began in brunswick since you didn't ask which began in brunswick with amada Arbery, ever since we started our campaign gun sales and, and gun classes and gun certifications amongst black people are up 52 percent that's something that's never been done the before. thing black people you know, need right now is a gun are inspired by the sight of watching as you said and i have to agree with you when i see black people that are unorganized, that are a mob that's just complaining and don't have any plan. I'm right along with you. That is not what we're a part of. That's one of the reasons we came forward, just as you said, to be organized, to have a roadmap, to inspire, to educate, and then to be able to defend in the need that we have. Have you noticed we've broken no laws? We've not killed one person. Not one person has been arrested. No property. We've done none of those things that these other people have done. We have presented a very sensible, logical, as you say, organized institution that has embraced everything that you said and have put those things out. But since we've only been on the stage in three months, even though in those three months we've built an international coalition and have gotten endorsements from other agencies around the globe because we're doing just what you said. You see, we're the ones who are trying to do just what you said. Let we're me trying ask. to bring back the things you just talked about. But we've only been in existence three months. And in those three months, what have we done? We've done more to motivate, unify, the black people in this country, and I can show you all the receipts you need, but if I don't know where you're looking, but by the way you started off this conversation, you haven't looked in the right place because you didn't even do your research on the NFAC. Let me ask, um, as a man, and I find it really odd as a male, because I didn't grow up seeing this, it's odd yeah. to me to see black men begging for reparation and crying about systemic racism or uh, or or blaming white people for their downfall. Normally, men overcome situations and the women and children follow. But the black men are acting just like the black women, and they are acting like the white man is smarter than them, that the white man can do better than them. So by complaining and blaming, you're hurting yourself rather than coming together as an American so people and put forward that ever. It's you not attractive to see interview. men complain I'm like that. I'm going to do this one more time for you, and if you don't get this, we can end this interview. You're not listening. You keep saying the same thing over again, and I don't go in circles. Do you feel normal? Does it feel right to no be complaining? complaining. No one's blaming. You we complain about systemic racism anyone. and you want There's reparations. No We're not begging for reparations. You do want reparations. What the steps are to get reparations. The but, steps to get but, reparations, and I've taught on this, you can't pay reparations to a color. You can only pay, pay reparations to a country. I've already taught on this, that black people in this country need to stop asking for something that can't be paid to them in their current state. I've taught on this. I've told them that once you decide to declare yourself a sovereign liberated country, then you can petition for reparations. So I'm not begging. We haven't begged for a damn thing because we haven't even taken the first step to put us in a position for black people to get reparations. So no one's begging. Additionally, there's been no downfall here. You've seen the NFAC. We're fully equipped. We're well-dressed. That's we what told me all. all if you guys can dress up like that. Of this country, we are all people. 
I we're know, not but, the people in the streets that you're talking about. We're the actual responsible homeowners, gun owners, and voters that got together under the Constitution and formed a militia to address what we saw happening to our community. So we're not complaining. We're not asking for anything. The people you're talking about are the people you see protesting in the streets right now. We don't protest. The people you're talking about are the ones out destroying like Antifa and Black Lives Matter. We don't do that. The ones you're talking about are the ones who are running up on politicians but who never vote you're not talking about us we're the other side i'm I know, just like you my friend i'm almost 60 years old i'm not a child at this and i've been around this world for quite a few times but what you missing? hold on we're not asking we're not begging we're actually taking the steps under the law that we can to move ourselves into a position to get the things that we can get for ourselves even if it means going somewhere else to establish our own ethno nation not here in the united states but somewhere else where we've had a conversation with two countries willing to grant us sovereign land to grow our own country. But That's you, our mission. Our if mission you can't is not do it here, man for anything. if you can't do it here, you won't be able to do it anywhere. Uh, uh, because there's no done. other country that's greater than America. But what I want to, what I just want to say, when you when you're crying systemic racism and this and that and the white man this, you're feeding your your. You, you're deceiving the people rather than helping them. But what I want to ask you, you guys are complaining about George Floyd and these black people who are getting killed or hurt by cops. You're not encouraging these people when the cops stop you. Follow the instructions. Don't run. Don't attack the cops. They're, these people are putting their own lives on the line. But I never hear you people say that. You guys blame the cops. First of all, but you don't I'm going to say this one last time. I don't know who your producers are, but if you call me you people one more time, you are not going to have this conversation in person. I'm not you people.